Uh, before I get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Wirehead on Indiegogo from uh, Rob Geronimo. Uh, really looking forward to this book. It's going to be a uh, whole lot of fun on a bun. Anyway, let's get into it. I'd like to go over quick how I do uh, color flatting uh, using Krita. And I've seen quite a few people use things like the lasso tool where they draw around the areas and then you know paint bucket in and that kind of stuff. Uh, I find that to be really time consuming. Um, especially on uh, kind of bigger drawings, so I just want to give an example here. First I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of the file, just in case it were to be lost or corrupted. And I'd like to um, make a duplicate of all my line layers. Uh, sometimes I uh, get those into uh, separate layers, so I just want to get them all into one. So I'll duplicate them and merge them down into one. Then I will right click on the merge layers and I will uh, choose add and colorize mask. Then using a brush with a hard edge I'm going to start just scribbling in the areas that I want uh, to be that color. Uh, I can just mainly just go around the perimeter of it but uh, uh, sometimes it helps visually to fill those in. While I do that I'd like to ask you guys what do you do uh, for something to listen to while you're drawing? Uh, I've heard quite a few people say that they listen to video game music while they draw because it's something that they can just drown out as background noise and uh, just ignore while they get their work done. Personally speaking, I feel as though drawing is kind of an emotional thing and uh, music is something that can invoke emotion. If you're not feeling that emotion while you're drawing it, it can be more difficult to convey. And if you're music that you're listening to is effectively on par with elevator music. Uh, I think it shows in people's work. That's just kind of my personal opinion. So uh, I'm, I've kind of a, an eclectic taste for music. Um, so I'll, I will listen to something that I feel is uh, appropriate to the emotion I'm trying to convey on paper while I'm drawing, uh, whether it's heavy metal or jazz or rap or whatever it is. Or if it's uh, something like color flatting, I may just uh, uh, listen to, you know, live streams or somebody talking about whatever. Just let me know in the comments below, what do you listen to while you are drawing? For areas that you want to keep transparent, I'm going to pick just a really drastically different color from the rest. Uh, so it's kind of easy to select later. And once I've uh, done all of that, I will give the picture a quick uh, look over. And if I feel at least somewhat satisfied, I'm going to click on the round icon on the colorized layer mask. Uh, it, this takes a little while, uh, depending on the size of the image that you're working on and the hardware that you have. Uh, for me, uh, with on this 11 by 17 at 300 pixel per inch, uh, it took my machine about 3 minutes and 45 seconds to do. You'll see some things Krita may have filled in wrong, as well as other things you may have missed yourself. Uh, go ahead and go back over it again, uh, trying to fill in the errors that you can see. And then click on the round icon again to let it run again. Uh, again, takes a few minutes, uh, depending on the size of the uh, file that you're using. And so take the chance to, you know, grab yourself a coffee or something. At this point, I feel as though the machine won't be able to do any better than myself. So I convert the colorized mask layer to a paint layer and I start uh, filling in those uh, mistaken spots. And of course that green background really has to go. So I'll hide my lines, then select all the green that I can see with the selection tool, and I'll press delete to remove it. And I will go back to uh, correcting colors that I've missed. Uh, every time I have a change like this uh, uh, to the background, uh, other errors seem to just kind of pop out at you. So I'll do this again, and then I will throw in an extra gradient on the background and I'll just set it aside for a little bit. I'll go do something else, you know, 
uh, just, you know, go pet a cat, rake my Zen garden, you know, do whatever it is to clear my mind. And then I, uh, before coming back to uh, finishing those corrections on uh, color flatting, Please let me know in the comments below if you found this at all useful or if you uh, believe that you have a better way of uh, doing color flatting. Um, I certainly would love to hear it. And give me a like and subscribe if you found this at all useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching.